just wanted to recap some bags I've been carrying for the month of May, so stay tuned. Hello, my name is Andrea. Welcome or welcome back to my channel and thanks for joining me in the Babe Cave. And I wanted to discuss bags I've been carrying for the month of May and a little bit of review, what pros and cons, and this may be a new little series I do, I don't know. But for now, we'll stick with the month of May. And you know, I've went to out to eat, I went to kids things, parties, a whole bunch, and then at my birthday was in May and I bought a couple of things, as we all know. I was gifted a bag. So these are the bags that I've been carrying and I wanted to talk about each of them individually. Pros and cons and reviews of the bags I used. So we're gonna go to the MZ Wallace Metro Shoulder. This is the easiest carry bag ever. You can wear it in rain or shine. It's, you know, the Metro Shoulder. It's not that big, but it holds more than you would think. And I also do utilize the little pouch that it comes with. Here's the interior, if you haven't seen it. I like that it's light colored inside. It, I love the zipper. The zippers on the MZ Wallace, this one is super nice. And I like the ease of just throwing it on my shoulder and it's light. I mean, this is light as a feather. So if you're thinking about an MZ Wallace, this is the Metro shoulder bag and it has this cool effect where you think that you're seeing sequins which you are but they're just clear and then this is the material up close it is such a cool bag i got this off the real real the metro shoulder you can't go wrong it is so easy to wear so light i've worn this multiple times because it is so good so that was the beginning of May. The next one was, if you haven't watched, I did a video with my husband where he tried to pick out a Rowan bag for me and that was a fail. I'll link that video down below. <laughs> but I did end up with a denim Rowan that I found on Poshmark. And so this is my birthday present from him. I love the leather detail on the sides and it's actual pebbled leather instead of that cross grain so it's softer. It's got the feet on the bottom with the leather. I carried it crossbody to dinner, had no problem. Here's the crossbody strap. It's a it's a great bag. It's basically the same size as a Louis Vuitton Speedy 25. It might be slightly smaller, but this was from the 2023 collection last year and the handles are beautiful. I don't know, I just enjoy top handles lately. So I've been looking for top handle bags. I just, I've really been enjoying top handle. That's the next one I used. And then my next one is my beautiful gift from Says What, and it is called, let me get the card out, the Kendra Satchel, and it's in the Tommy Prince Tropical. And man, I love the feel of this bag, and I didn't use any organizer when I used it. The only tricky part is I used it as a crossbody also, and then I also used it top handle, just depending on if I was going shopping or not. So these handles are standing up. So the only con is getting into your bag. These sometimes get in the way when you have a crossbody. But other than that, I love the, the actual slouch of this, how squishy, soft. 
I love this material. It's not coated. It's got feet on the bottom. I really enjoyed shopping with this bag. Just getting used to the handles because I'm used to, you know, the rowing where the handles flop down. And so it just makes it a little bit trickier. But other than that, it was a beautiful carry. I got compliments on it. It is so pretty. It's a a Dooney sample bag. I'll link this video down below if you haven't watched it. I love the side pockets. You can just slip your phone in. Perfect. So yeah, this was the next one I carried. The next one was given to me and it is the dupe of the tote bag, obviously. And I've worn this quite a bit. It just has a yellow patch here. It's literally an inspired dupe bag of the denim. Well, we had a huge garage sale uh, not too long ago when I was carrying this. I used it all weekend and it's very hot and it was uh, very humid. So I noticed when carrying this, there's a little bit of transfer on this, I, this is not leather, it's plastic, so there's a little bit of color transfer on the handles, but this size and this dupe is perfect for me. So when I'm looking at those Marc Jacobs leather bags, which I constantly do, because I still want one in leather. I want to try the Marc Jacobs tote bag in leather. I finally decided, but I don't know what color. But this is the size I would get. It holds all the stuff that I needed. I threw in garage sale, sale stickers, I mean money, everything. It's perfect for for that and I am, have enjoyed this dupe so I really want the original but I want it in leather. Carl Lagerfeld, which I've never owned any of his bags before but this denim Agnes, it was hard to get out of this bag. Um, it has the back pocket, which I enjoyed. The turn locks, I always like a good turn lock. I put my Nolita and a bigger wallet in it and my fan and my keys fit in there. I can't wear it crossbody, but it's really nice on the shoulder. These, these are a little bit heavy, but I, that doesn't bother me. So the only con was, <laughs> one, these flaps, I don't know if you can notice that they, they kind of start to puff out instead of lay flat. That's kind of a con, you know, I, that's the only part, but from the front, you cannot tell. <laughs> and then the other con was I kept my Eiffel Tower Carl Lagerfeld charm and as I was shopping, if I wore it under my arm, this was stabbing me. <laughs> These little legs here of the Eiffel Tower. But other than that, you know, besides the flaps kind of sticking up if you stuff it, you know, I wish those laid flat. Love the back pocket for my phone. It fit uh, everything I needed in it. But yeah, just a couple of cons that I, you know, don't like that that's happening. But it was, it's a great denim bag. I still love it. And yeah, so that's my next one. And then the final one, I, <laughs> of course, had to make this into a bag. <laughs> and it's the, my newest bag. Really, it's an SLG, I think. But I'm using it as a bag and it's the barrel from Coach Outlet, of course, and the cherries. I'll link this video down below if you haven't seen it. I've only worn it once so far and it fits, actually it fits all my essentials. You'd be surprised. I did a short on it. It has a card holder in it. I added my cherries charm, which this is so cute and it just broke. This is the one leaf that has come off before, which my husband fixed for me, which is now, this is real life, okay? Sometimes during filming, this kind of thing happens. 
Not usually, but so I'll take that off for him to glue. But anyway, back to this. I just love that you can just pop it on your wrist or your arm and go out the door. Love the cherries. The zipper's nice. Fits all my essentials. So, so far I am loving this little barrel bag. And they always come out with different prints and uh, everything for this barrel bag. I love the shape of the barrel bag. So, sometimes I think I want the Louis Vuitton Papillon. The vintage, you know, Papillon. But for now, that is what I've worn. Little pros and cons and reviews of my bags for May. And most of them, they, I love all of them. There are just a couple of little things that are, you know, a little nuisance, but overall, good bags. And uh, I hope you all have enjoyed my month in recap review of what I've been carrying. And I'm going to try to do a no buy June. Yes, I'm going to do it. I'm going to stay strong. I'm going to shop my closet because I've got plenty of bags. I need to start going through them. Seeing, I have now, I've got a tracker on my phone that I track when, what day, and what the bag is, and how when I wear it. So I know what I'm using now because I use this tracker. I'll try to link that down below if you're interested, just so you know. Are you getting use out of the bags that you paid all that money for? Because, <laughs> you know, as a handbag lover collector, you get a little bit overwhelmed sometimes. That's why I also resell. If I'm not carrying something, if something doesn't work out, I try to sell it. That's just what I do. And, uh, yeah, thank you for subscribing. Don't forget to hit that bell so you won't miss my future videos. And I thank you all for joining me and subscribing to my channel lately. I am still trying to reach my goal of 2,000. And I will have a giveaway. Because I have started a pile of giveaway items. So be sure and subscribe to my channel and you could win. And uh, anyway, thank you again and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.